Welcome back to the Macadon campaign, part number four. Hello and welcome to the Macedon or the Macadon campaign, however you pronounce it. And we're back with part four, as I just sang for you in a very, very horrible tone. And we are looking at the campaign map. And I'm trying to remember where I did in the last part to see. Oh yes, the Odrissian Kingdom, we are basically wiping them out, or in the process of wiping them out. They have very little remaining, we could probably wipe them out with this navy I assume. Yeah, that's what I was doing, I was going to bring this this sh navy down here, very good navy, we've got some mercenaries there as well, to wipe this ship out, and there, public order is a plus two, that is a good, good business for me. At your command. Decent army being replenished. Um, no mercenaries in that army. Let's have a quick look around what we got here. Oh yes, of course, this army's going here because I think we're at war with Epirus, I think. Yes, we are. Epirus, we are at war with you. Athens are still happy and Sparta. Sparta's actually taken Apollonia. Good on them. Good on Sparta. So let's have a quick look around the diplomacy. See if there's anything we can do. Get any goodie bags off some of our friends in the Mediterranean. Maybe Athens I wants to give us some to goodie bags. And look Maybe to not. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. The Katy. Katy Roy? Katy Roy? Katy. Hello, Katy. Greetings to you. Greetings to you. you. In Scotland. It's funny how the voices of uh, some of these voice actors, I guess, uh, sound Scottish, even though they're like. Well, Scotland didn't exist at this time, but you know what I mean. It's kind of funny. Although, saying that, you're not going to get a authentic uh, Bronze Age or Roman Age and Ancient Age uh, voice actor, are you? Not unless you've got a time machine, which I don't think exists, so, you know. Anyway, we've got this spy. What can we do with this spy? I know, let's go and spy on someone. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Alright, let's just move him. Let's go scout Sparta in case they are closing in. And I've got a bit of lag going on here. What the hell is going on? Frames per second's gone way down. Jesus, it's quite bad. Anyway, we're going to click the end turn. I think I've done everything this turn. We've got quite a bit of food now. A little bit of growth. Not much income, but that will pass. We are researching land reclamation. That will give us a bit more wealth. And we can build some cattle pens as well. Let's click the end turn. Let's get this show going. And i got a question for you while the game's loading. Who out of people who are watching this video are looking forward to the new Mountain Blade Warband? Mountain Blade war. Bannerlord 2. Oh shit, the, the Getai have declared war on me, so I'll ask Athens to help me. Athens has joined, well then. Come and Getai me. <laughs> yeah, who is looking forward to Bannerlord 2? I'm really looking forward to it, I can't wait. I think the game has so much potential. Um, it's actually got like proper movement with the the NPCs as well, which you don't get in Mountain Blade Warband. Ooh, war target invalidated. Oh shit! Search peace between Empress and Sparta. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's see. Where's the? Is um? Oh, they believe shit. Are they gonna actually attack me with that navy? Holy shit! I think they are as well. Uh, is the Getai are uh, not on the border, are they? Getai are pure shit. See, the problem I got is I don't want my public order to go. As soon as I leave this army, make this army leave, I'm going to be like suffering, suffering terrible public order. I'll get another rebellion. I'm sick of the rebellions at the moment. It's irritating. I need to keep changing these buildings as quickly as I can. I can do get a port by here. Get one in Odessa. So we get one in Anthea. I can't afford anything else this turn. See, all my money's gone basically on that. This navy can probably dock. I could like do an old total war trick where I put them in the middle by here so whoever's coming from this side of the uh, land can't cross. I think that still applies to this game. Um, for now I'm just going to put my navy in here. The lag is quite bad, I can't get over this. Um, I'm getting 21 frames per second. Usually I get about 40 odd so something I need to keep an eye on I think. We'll wait and see when we get a battle. Uh, Let's see. Ready for orders. Oh, I got a mercenary here. I don't need that mercenary anymore. I'm just chopping up money by there. Not chopping up. Chugging. Chugging's what I'm looking for. I'm chugging money. 
Jagged the monies. Okay, nothing I can recruit. Nothing I can build. No money at all. Technology, we can do some tech. Technology stuff. Let's just go for civil, I think, while we in. Uh, do we want civil? Dignitary. Enables a library. Gro uh, province? Province. Growth in province. Uh, I don't know what to go for, guys. I think we'll go for the wealth. We need the money, so we'll go for the land management. That makes sense. I can expand Pela, but I can't build anything there, so it's no point. Public order is okay. It's, well, it's minus 55, but we've got plus 3. I can't really do much. That's the problem I got. Ooh, my, my face second's gone right up. Excellent. 41. That's better. It's only when I move. It's kind of... Kind of annoying. Um, yeah, this could get in turn. I can't really do anything. I know the get I've just cleared war on me, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh shit, I forgot to move him. That's okay. He moves on his own accord. Also, what do you think of the new logos, their emblems? I can't get used to them, to be honest. I th I like them, but... Oh shit, what's this? Um, Sparta and Athens. <laughs> huh? What the fuck? Um, wait a minute, this doesn't make sense. Sparta has attacked Athens. Athens. See, that that logo just threw me then. It's Egypt. Uh, Athens is allied with Egypt and Sparta, but Sparta has betrayed Athens. I would be better off staying with Athens because they have a walled settlement and Sparta doesn't. But, yeah, this is confusing because, like, um, they, aren't they both my allies? Shit, uh, guys, what the hell am I doing here? Oh my god, this is a mind fuck. I'm, uh, I'm, aren't I allied with both of them? Um, oh my god, right, let's just end up once. Do we want to do that though? I'm gonna enter. I think I just clicked the right one. Oh, we're being attacked. Oh my god, this is not resolve. Auto resolve. Let's just attack you and kill you. Bye bye, Odrissian. See you in hell. Bye bye. There we go. Odrissian Kingdom has been eliminated from the game. Decisive victory. And I'm going to release the captives. I think that still works where if you release the captives, you actually increase your public order with other factions by a small percentage, like 1%. I know it was in the game a few months ago. I'm not sure if it is now. Alliance broken between Athens and Sparta, okay. Faction destroyed. Increase in rank? Holy shit, it didn't even do nothing. Mission failed? Oh god. Didn't even know I had a mission. <laughs> a faction rises. Cappadocia. Hello. And Swabia destroyed. Bye bye, Swabia Berserkers. Okay, that was a mad few minutes. Let's just check everything again. Yeah, so we're very friendly with. Uh, Athens who are now at war with Sparta which suits me because we can actually swoop in and take Sparta now seeing as we're at war with them so let's um, try and get Greetings, some friend. let's get cozy with the Athenians let's Will give you, you some Fine olives, let's have some trade but I want you to give me some money as well come greedy bastard will you give me some cash yes thank you I wanted 500 I might have been able to get more actually but that's perfect timing for me I got some trade with you which I need the money for, so I've got now over a thousand, which is excellent. And I want to take Apollonia. Oh my goodness gracious me, look at that big ass army going towards Athens. Oh my god, they got a big one here. Right, we can swoop in and take Apollonia, I think, if I can get you guys on the, on the old march. Get marching men. Um, go there because I can put them into. Oh, it's not a very good ambush spot, though, is it? But it stops them coming through if they do attack me, I think. So let's just let's just spend this turn. Oh wow, a minute. Wait a minute now. I just noticed something. Epirus is here. Are Epirus at war with Sparta? I think they start off at war with Sparta, don't they? Ah, oh, you're a client state of Sparta. Shite. But you might betray them, so that might help. Because uh, starting to take Illyria would be handy as well. I need to get Macedonia, so I need to get Apollonia anyway. Have a spy as well. I'm at war with Epirus anyway, so it doesn't really matter which one I take out. Let's get some stats going. Oh, I just spent money on that shit. 
Let's weaken them anyway. Ah, oh, he failed. You useless bastard. Did he increase in rank? They sometimes increase in rank when they fail. I don't think he did, though. No, we're not far off, though. Um, yeah, I wasted money on that then. I shouldn't have done that. It was stupid of me. Anyway, let's recruit some... Oh, we need some cavalry, don't we? We have hoplites, we have slingers, we have javelin. Some of them got a little bit of experience. Oh, look at that. Citizen cav. We could do a citizen cav. Could, uh, let's get one of them. Some citizen cavalry. And Pulp David can be expanded. I could do that. I could not. I don't know. How much is it going to? 737. Uh, over a thousand. It's too slow. This is too slow, all this is. Up here at the moment. Pulpadeva. If I expand you, can I build anything here? I can, actually. Excellent. That could help the public order. Consecrated ground. And it changes the culture. Now let's check your culture. What are you guys? Hellenic is on the rise, but Balkan is the majority. So that would be handy. I don't need practice field. It gets what I get plus one army recruitment, but I'm kind of skinned at the moment, so I can't recruit anything. And then a public forum does the whole public order thing, but to a lesser extent. So let's get the consecrated ground. That will strengthen my hold on this region for now. Uh, I'm not too worried if I get attacked by the Getai because I have a large settlement here. Pulpa Deva. Walls, okay, we've got mobs, that's not too good. But we can have hoplites and pikemen and some slingers. And the walls as well, so we might hold out, or should hold out. I got a large army here as well, so they're pretty screwed if they do decide to attack me. Uh, these geezers up here, the Tribali, I think they are allies, or they, they're on good terms with us at least. Let's just check. Yeah, they're trading, and they're on good terms. We're not um, allied with them because we don't trust them. Especially that large army just sitting there. I could expand Paler right now but I don't see the point because I've got no money but apart from that we're looking pretty good we've got some money coming in from the trade routes as well I'm interested to see what happens here because we've got like an all out war now between Emperor Sparta and Athens and now cells all four of us are involved look at that one two three four four corners of Greece and I'm hoping to snatch Apollonia and then Epidamno so that's my plan for this campaign for the next few parts. Let's click and turn and see what happens. Oh shite. Xenobios. Where are you Xenobios? Cosmos. This guy over here I think. Yeah. Okay so we, we got plus three morale for all units during battles in own or allied territory. We can change that for ambush or authority. I think I'm okay with that to be honest. We can get another one. Gravitas can in. Zeal's pretty good, so we get zeal. And then we click end turn finally. Huzzah! Huzzah! Bow chicka bow bow. Okay, what happened there? Sparta ran down there. Excellent. Oh, Epirus, you sneaky bastards. Look at you standing there. Oh, this is perfect. This could be perfect, I think. I don't know. I'm a bit weary as well, but I'm kind of. Hoping this will go in our favour. Okay, it's hidden agent exposed. <laughs> Objective is to research technology in the following categories. Siege. Siege craft. Yeah, we'll go for that eventually. Let's get the sieve. We've only got one more turn for this, so we'll get that. Forsaken by the man. <laughs> Sparta and Epirus. Now it's an all-out war. Faction encountered the Dalmati, so we'll see if we can get something going with them. Let's do that first, actually. The Dalmati, where are you? You are... Here. You are at war with the Veneti, which are on the corner by here in Cisalpina. I'm on the Gresham Pack to start with. Thank you, dude. Who would you like some trade? Okay, maybe not. Damn. I think we're trading with pretty much everyone we can. The Cymeria are over here. Would you like a non aggression pact? No? Fair enough. Okay. So we have Epirus. Oh shit, there's no land by here. They're raiding. But they suffer nutrition as well. I could go for the experience by killing them, but I think it's better for me to sit where I am. I got my cab now as well. Ten units is enough for me, I think. I prefer the small uh, small armies. That is a shit army as well, Ares Dread. Holy crap. Do they expect to take Apollonia with two units of mob? You must be barking mad. Holy shit. 
And these guys. Mercenary Veneti. Oh, mercenary veteran hoplites. Illyrian levies. I think we can take you guys on as well. We're ready for battle. I wish this guy had better movement. That is shit. He can barely get to the border. That's crap. The gods of war. My god. Right. What the hell? Minus two. How can my public order go down? I built your port, damn it. The village growth goes up. Oh my god, it's taking forever this is. I want I don't want a rebellion again. It's not fair. Don't let give me rebellions. I got lots of food coming in. That's gonna help us when we, once we get that next turn anyway. And I think if we get the village which we can afford right now. We get the growth, we get the wealth. I can do, oh, I can't do it with this, can't afford that one. That one would be beneficial. Public order, food will go down, civil settlement maybe. Uh, I don't need to worry about that for now though, it's not really important, it's not, not, it's not an immediate thing That's to worry about. Uh, this army is going to go closer to the action I think. We're going to go only this far because I'm going to put them into an ambush stance. If that army comes down here, we got a chance of intercepting them. So an ambush by here, pretty decent position for us. Meanwhile, this guy here, who is a royal peltas, which are absolutely beasts, beast in unit for this game. We're gonna get some decent units for you. We're gonna go for the hoplites because even though they cost quite a lot, they're just the best ones to get. Six hundred and fifty, definitely worth it. A couple of them. A bit of cav, and you're looking good in this campaign, I think. I pre think that's pretty much all we can do this turn. Let's just check. Sparta still got Sparta. Athens still has Larissa. Oh, but they might not for much longer, because these guys have come out. So that might be under Spartan control next turn, and this might be under Epirus control next turn. Meanwhile, I've got a well-placed ambush, so let's click end turn and see if the fireworks happen this turn. Oh shit, 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 what the hell, my ambush didn't catch him out, that's not fair. Oh my god, that was poor, that was absolutely poor. How can that happen? I thought that my ambush would have caught them then. Ambush fail, oh you spotted, that's right. Ah, oh, shit. It doesn't matter because... <laughs> Even though it's spotted, he's oh my god, this is gonna be awesome. They've depleted. What about this guy? Okay, this guy's got the mob and he's got a half depleted army, and this guy's in four stance and he's gonna be screwed over by my my army. So we're in normal stance. We're gonna have a couple of battles by here, guys. Let's get my shit going. Attack you first. Fuck yeah! Here we go. I'm gonna fight this for myself, so I shall see you all on the battlefield. Hello everyone and welcome to the battlefield. As you can see we're about to click the start button. Slingers and javelinmen into two groups on either flank. The reason for this is I'm going to attack the general straight away. There he is right there. My main infantry, my hoplites, they're going to charge in in locked formation in their stance as well. Like a big meat grinder right into them while my cavalry is going to charge them in the rear. So three, two, one, and begin. Quickly attack them all. Charge! Here we go, that's what I wanted. I know that my their cavalry might get a couple of charges on me, but the effect should work in my favour. They're basically going to be fucked. That is the desired effect anyway. Or the word to that effect. There we go, we're out in one unit already. All units. Just attack the general. Mass route, that's what we're aiming for. Quick kills, quick kills. He's on 78. Get phalanx going. This isn't going quick enough. Oh my god, their cavalry's glitched out or something. I think they're stuck on a tree. What the hell? Doesn't matter, I don't care. I should probably take out their cav with my cav. That might be beneficial. Let's go for the slingers. We're continually draining the general. The general's actually routed in. Excellent. This is perfect. General, down to 13. General's gonna not escape this battle. Let's go for the cav with my general. 
this is a very easy victory. I've barely taken any losses. Oblites! Oh my god, we actually absolutely mirroring them. Right. Let's get the two groups now to turn and to aim. Group one and two. To so go for them. My cavalry is gonna just finish them off. Surprise is still going on this long to be honest. Let's bring one of my infantry around and come back. Oh shit, they mercenary Tarantine cavalry. That's actually got me here. My cavalry needs to come back as well, my citizen cav. Come on, get over here. Their cavalry is doing some damage. I need to be quicker quicker at doing this. Hurry up, come on. Get the kills going, guys. Get the kills going. Absolutely belt those horses, come on. Oh my god, these guys are screwed. Phalanx. And in. Job done. And we're chasing off the cavalry, they are shaken. They're screwed. Okay, so the one unit's taking a bit of a loss there, but apart from that, I think we're doing pretty well. Fairly happy with this. Uh, Could have gone slightly better, but I think overall a fairly decent victory for us. We were never going to lose this battle. These guys are still holding on, which I'm surprised about, to be honest. Some, they're all in phalanx. Don't want them to escape, I want to wipe everyone out. I'm actually going to get these guys to all go into a uh, turn fire at will off them. There we go. Turn that all off. I don't want to hit my own men. I think we've chased off everyone, or pretty much everyone, apart from this lone horse. <laughs> so yeah, Epirus isn't going to worry us with this army anymore. These guys are still chasing people down by the looks of things. No, they're not. They're finished as well. And all we have left now is what we surrounded us, basically. Let's bring my general into the fold as well. These guys won't be escaping. You can guarantee that. I'm just going to surround them with everyone. Do not stand a chance, guys. Look at this. Look at this for flanking. Fast forward. <laughs> I am so cruel. Here we go, we've outflanked them, and they're gone. Let's continue for a few moments. Charge. Everyone shouldn't charge them now. Fast forward. They're not escaping this battle. I want to wipe them all out. Let's leave it going for a few moments. Get the experience I need. So, a couple of units are in the yellow, but it's nothing to worry about. We can replenish. Eventually, when I want to take Apollonia. Have we chased them all off? Oh, like two guys left. That's okay. We'll uh, quit battle. Decisive victory. Lost 232. That's okay. Um, my cavalry had the most kills, which is to be expected because they were just mopping up uh, skirmishing troops, javelin men, etc. Their cav did 56 kills on me, which was probably my worst moment in the battle. But apart from that, it's a pretty straightforward, easy victory. This Greek war has got started, and we're doing pretty well so far, I would say. Bam! In the gut. Good night, Irene. And we're going to, of course, I'm going to release the captives, come a good boy. But now we've got a second army here, which we want to take out as well. We're also in force march. And before we do that, I want to just check something. Event messages. Uh, la, 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 la. Where was it? Land management. What do they want me to? Oh, we've discovered the Luigi. Luigi or Luigi? Astana are gone. Uh, let's see. Seeds. They want me to research, don't they? Let's get the siege tower going, then so we can get a blacksmith. Yeah, let's go for this Epirus army here. In Force March again. I'm going to auto resolve this one, I think, guys, because although saying that, they are mob units. Okay, I'll see you on the battlefield.
Hello and welcome to the battlefield. We shall begin. It will be a glorious victory, this will. It will be a very easy victory as well. Let's charge them. Look at that cavalry. Straight into the spikes, into the spears. Let's get them, guys. Let's get them. Form the phalanxes. Get them in. Slingers can aim for, aim for the mob. Let's aim for the cavalry instead. My cavalry is just going to mop them up as well. Very easy victory. Look at that. Route them straight away. They only mob units and uh, slingers. Cavalry just completely wiping them out by here. And now their cavalry look is retreating backwards, which is a wise decision to make. We got a chance to take out another general here, which I want to fully take. Gonna retreat further back with my cav so I can get a charge in. Let's go for the charge now. 76 cavalry against 20. We got a slight downhill charge. Boom, we've taken a couple of them out already. 69 against 17, they are shaken. We are wiping them out. And I think we've won this battle easily as well. Yes, we have. Excellent. Let's fast forward again. Let's get some experience. Slingers are still firing. Cavalry still chasing. General can actually stop. General's got some decent traits now. He's got Warcry and he's got Second Wind. He's a good guy. He's a very good guy. I'm going to end the battle there. I'll do. So quit the battle. Decisive victory again. Two decisive victories in a row. Only 47 losses, which is to be expected. And basically I just aimed all my infantry towards their three best units. And then I knew my cavalry could do the other four very quickly. As you can see, no kills, no kills, no kills, and no kills. Cavalry just took them out straight away. 127 kills for the cavalry. Done a very good job there. Cosmas. Probably leveled up. Got some chevrons for all my units now, which is important. Want to get a decent army in this campaign. Again, I'm going to release the captives. Oh, damn. Increasing rank. So, got level 4 general, I think. Which I'm happy with. So, we want to get some decent traits for you. So, I can get authority, plus 2 authority. I can get plus 2 zeal, plus gravitas, plus melee attack for all units. That's a very good one to go for. Tempting. Zeal, morale during defensive battle. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the one I saw by here. So plus two zeal, plus two gravitas per turn, plus two melee attack, and plus two shots per minute. So that's very good, very useful for my whole army. And Ready I can in orders. fact chase Ares Dread. Or not. Why can't I chase you? Damn, that's a shame. Oh, look at that. There's only one mob unit and two slingers. Ugh. We'll just stay there for now. And here we are. So I'm going to end the episode here. We finally have our Greek War. Athens and Macedon against Epirus and Sparta. I've been Dragonheart. I hope you've all enjoyed this episode. Until next time, goodbye.